Selenium for Beginners with Rex Jones II. Closed captioning is available for you. Switch CC on or off. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Selenium for Beginners. My name is Rex Allen Jones II. We are going to discuss the if statement, which is a Java conditional statement. Conditional statements are part of Java's flow control structures, also known as flow control statements. A flow control statement directs a program's flow. Regarding the if statement, this flow executes a particular statement if the condition returns true or false. You can download the transcript, presentation, and code at tinyurl.com Java if statements. Java provides three types of if statements. First is the if then statement. Second is the if then else statement. Third is the if then else if statement. The syntax for if then begins with if condition. If is a key word that always start the if statement. The condition generates a Boolean result which returns true or false. After the condition is an opening curly bracket followed by a statement. This statement can be a block of statements that's only executed if the condition is true. A semicolon completes the statement. The second bracket is a closing bracket and only required if there is an opening bracket. Next is the syntax for if then else, which contains an if condition, statement, and brackets, just like the previous statement. However, this statement includes an else clause. After the else clause is a statement that can be executed. We see an if keyword, condition, opening bracket, statement, semicolon, and closing bracket. The same information that was already covered for if then statement, except the second statement. Now, we get a better picture of the statements. If the condition returns true, then the first statement is executed. But if the condition returns false, then the second statement is executed. The else clause extends the if statement when the condition returns false. The last if statement is if then else if. It looks like the previous statement, but there are some clauses before the else clause. We have a clause for else if followed by a condition. There's also a statement. Depending on our program, we may add more else if clauses with a condition and statement. We have an if statement, condition, opening bracket, statements, semicolon, and closing bracket. An else if statement extends the if statement. There are three descriptions that explains statement. The first statement executes if the first condition returns true. The second and the third statement execute if one of the else if conditions returns true. All of the conditions are evaluated using a top-down approach. For example, a top-down approach using this syntax evaluates the if condition. When the if condition returns a false result, then the program flow evaluates the first else if condition. After the first else if condition is evaluated, 
the program flow evaluates the second as if condition. The same top down approach would continue if there were more as if conditions that returned a false result. Soon as a true condition is found, the statement associated with that true condition is executed and the remaining conditions are not evaluated. If there are no true conditions, then the else statement is automatically executed. The else clause extends the if statement by operating like a default condition when all of the other conditions are evaluated and returned a false result. Now, let's demo the if statement. Let's provide a test. Since the if statement is used to make a decision, we build our test by assigning a value to a variable such as int age equal 34. Start by writing if. We have the option of writing our if statement from scratch or use IntelliSense. You can click Control Space to bring up IntelliSense. We see an if and if else statement. I am going to select if and you see the syntax is already designed for us. The condition will be our test where our program flow must make a decision. For our condition, let's go ahead and write if age equal 24. Remember from the ninth video, Java variables and operators, one equal symbol assigns a value like int age equal 34, but two equal symbols perform our test to verify if age equals a certain value like 24. In this test, age is not equal to 24. Next, we have our statement, which is also called a body. Sys out. What do we want our program to do? If age equals 24, then print age equals 24. Let's run. We do not see an output printed to the console because the condition was not true. The statement for if condition only executes if the condition returns true. This statement returns false. Let's copy and paste. Then change 24 to 34. Let's run again. Now we see an output because age is 34. However, writing two if conditions is not efficient for our program. Let's implement an if then else statement which is more efficient. Copy and paste the code, then replace if age equal 34 with an else clause. Run. We get the same result. Age is 34. I prefer to use an opening and closing bracket, although they are optional. Personally, I believe the brackets make our conditional statements look more organized. Let's remove the brackets and run again. Age is 34. This is how an if then else statement works. We write if and a condition to test our variable. If age equals 24, 
then print age equals 24. But if it does not equal 24, then print age equals 34. There is a downside to the if-then-else statement. It is more efficient than the previous statement, if-then. But the downside is the program flow only have two options, if condition and else statement. Next is the if-then-else statement, which gives our program many conditions. Let's use age as our variable again and write some conditions. If age is greater than or equal to 65, then print you are eligible to retire at age, which will be 65. Else, if age is greater than or equal to 20, You are not eligible to retire at age. Copy, paste. Else if age is greater than or equal to 13 and age is less than equal to 19, print you are a teenager. Else, sis out, you are not old enough to work at age. If you have not watched the Java variables and operators video, check it out where I explain operators greater than or equal to the and operator less than or equal to and the concatenation operator. Let's run. You are eligible to retire at 65. Change 65 to 40. Run. You are not eligible to retire at 40. Change 40 to 16. Run. You are a teenager, 16. The if condition is the main test and will execute its statement if the condition returns true. The if ifs statements are additional conditions just in case the main test returns false. Else has a default statement just in case all of the conditions return false. Let's change 16 to 1. Add a breakpoint, then debug. F5 to step into our program. Age equals one. Do you see how our first condition is highlighted and getting ready to be evaluated? 
when I step into our program again, the first statement will get skipped and the next condition will get evaluated. L5. Else if age is greater than 20. L5 again. The next condition, else if age is greater than 13 and age is less than 19. F5 for the last time. We'll finally execute the default statement. You are not old enough to work at one. F5. That's one of the downsides to the if then else if statement. All conditions are evaluated until a match is found. When a match is found, then the program exits the flow. However, if a condition is not found, then the default statement is executed. That's it for all three if statements. If then, if then else, and if then else if. You can download the transcript, presentation, and the code at tinyurl.com. HTTPS colon two forward slashes tinyurl.com forward slash J-A-V-A hyphen I-F hyphen S-T-A-T M-E-N-T-S. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.